things like that. So this is just another step, just like that one. So I'm looking to do the same thing. Do you have a, a good example, a great example of Raekwon showing leadership during your time at Penn State? Uh, the loss of Penn State. Yeah. We played Penn State up at their place. That was probably it. It's a good, a good time. I just show Chris's leadership. We like just talk to the team. We don't handle losing very well at Ohio State, so you know, after losses, you know, it's not, it's not too much to, to be said. We all just do want to get back to work. And, uh, he was one of the guys that stood up and said something. Chris, Put, sorry, you know, you, you just mentioned you guys hate losing. I know in September with the Oklahoma loss, I'm sure you guys are still were angry, obviously, about the flag plan. How, what do you think about that now? Are you still angry? You kind of just kind of like, just what are your thoughts on that? Going back? Uh, he apologized for it. Um, you know, he, I, I guess he just didn't really know. Um, it, was, it was a blatant level of disrespect, um, whether he was trying to do it or not. We weren't even on the field, but I mean, I'm not about to be out here, you know. <laughs> stressing that man about that. Uh, I'm, out, I'm out here focused on, on this. Did you talk to Taekwon and Jalen about what, what they said to him at the Senior Bowl week? Uh, no, nah, my phone got blew up when they, I guess somebody reported that they addressed him or something. And, and, uh, I mean, that's enough. I mean, they, they asked somebody, did he get <coughs> a reasonable, you know, it ain't like. It ain't nothing. It, ain't nothing. Well, it sounded Personally. like it was more playful than anything. I mean, yeah, that's what was the intent, but, you know, we, at times we're not judged on our intent, we're judged on our actions. And how curious are you to see how the linebacker position is going to shake out at Ohio State next year? Um, I kind of got an idea. Um, well, I know. Share with us. <laughs> I mean, as y'all have y'all seen throughout the years, no position is, is safe regardless of how much you played, how well you played. There's guys that can come in and play better than you, then you're going to lose that position or um, there's going to be a position battle. So just about every position on that defense, on that offense, there's going to be a position battle. I don't care who you are. You were, uh, had 10 sacks last year, you were a thousand yard rusher. If it's a running back that'll come in and he can produce just as much as you or produce more than you, you're not going to share time or you're going to get beat out. So every position is, is open. You know, it's funny year every year. It's like, oh, these three positions are open uh, for position battles, and it's a position battle every day. Uh, if y'all haven't noticed that by now, <laughs> Coach Meyer, I mean, he makes it known during recruiting. Um, you're not coming here to red shirt. You're gonna come here to play because that's what we need you to do. That's why we bring you here. And um, it's up to you. It's up to every player, man. It's not. It's not no coach's favorite. I care if you won Big Ten Player of the Year, whatever right. it is. Um, if you. I'll play, you will get, somebody will take your spot. And that's life of the big city, but it, it prepares you for life. It prepares you for things like this. It prepares you for the NFL. Uh, you with, gotta go out there and compete. I mean, you're, with, you're, uh, with your track, you know, dealing with tragedy with your childhood and, um, and going through everything, you're looking back at it and you're here now. What is What type of blessing is that for you? Uh, I mean, all this stuff is easy, man. You know, I hear dudes complaining about the days and, and things like that. And, I'm just out here just enjoying life, man. Like, I've seen a lot of things that people, a lot of people don't realize how blessed we are to be in these positions. And, and I'm taking it in full stride and I'm going to take advantage of it. Chris, this is another year where there are a handful of Buckeyes here at the Combine hoping to play in the NFL. But what's so special about Ohio State and just the way that the program prepares you to play at the next level? It's, it's the everyday life, man. Like, ser seriously, it's like, Everything we're trained to do from when we first start there, it prepares you for just about anything you want to do in life. Um, football, past football, it always teaches you to compete and give your best effort. And, uh, sometimes that's not good enough, but at the end of the day, if you know you put that, that, that effort forward, uh, you'll be rewarded in some way. Uh, so we've been rewarded since I've been there. And as long as I can remember having a traditionally rich combine, as a as Ohio State Buckeye, so uh, we're here to, to continue that tradition. What do you want NFL teams to know about you as a person? Uh, it's not so much I want them to know, but I want them to get to know me. Uh, and uh, I know once people like really get to know me, get to know what type of person I am, they're gonna they're gonna fall in love. And um, you know what I bring to the table for an NFL team for. Uh, <laughs> an organization, whatever it is, a friend in life, um, 
everyone wants that in their life because I'm, I'm a genuine guy and all I do is come to work.